What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to mix rap vocals. I've got this session here that I've mixed and it's from a local artist called RB. About to drop this single. If it isn't out already on Spotify and iTunes and it's also about to drop a video as well that might already be out by the time you're watching this video. So if you just have a look in the description below, there should be a link there. And uh, yeah, let's just quickly dive into this video. I'm just gonna quickly play the, the mix to you without any plugins on the vocals. So if you want the vocals to go from this, don't wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh you Try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there The people know me but they have no idea To this Don't wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh you Try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there The people know me but they have no idea I'm moving in a higher gear Right, so I'm just going to quickly show you what I did to get the vocal to that point So first of all, I recorded these vocals in my studio they're quite clean recordings, recorded on the Aston Origin microphone, running through the Apollo Twin UA610B preamp. So it was quite a nice recording, but I felt like it picked up a bit of low end noise that I didn't, I wasn't really feeling. Don't wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. So the first thing I've got is the NS1. I'm using that as a gate to get rid of that low end rumble. Don't wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot. And that works perfectly. I've got, I've got it there on 12.9. Then next up I've got a DSR. Cause he's quite sibilant. And he's also got quite a low voice. So I'm not, I can't remember if I, if I low cut the, the microphone. But it doesn't matter anyway. So let's move on. We've got the DSR. Pro DS. Got my go to. They wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there They think they know me but they have no idea I'm moving in a higher gear, you look good They wanna be salty with me cause I'm They wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed Anytime I'm in So we've got about minus 4 dB on the DSR there Then moving on we've got Pro Q2 Cut out about 195 hertz on his vocals. Don't wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. Cause I'm too blessed anytime. I feel it was a bit boomy so I wanted to get rid of that. The first EQ, what I like to do is just cut out all the annoying frequencies. All the ones that are getting them on nerves, I just take them out. So I just cut them out two, three, four dBs, maybe more sometimes, all depends. High region of his voice, like 11k 8k there's some more cuts going on i felt like the it was just a bit too much energy up there so the neutron now isotope neutron we're doing quite a bit of stuff i probably use the track assistant which is this little thing here I use track assistant hit the track assistant let it do its thing and then just go in to the different sections and tweak it up to how you want it to sound so for this one all i've done is use the equalizer and the compressor and the equalizer is probably doing a bit of Dynamic. They wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. They try to find We've got the high end shelf that's been boosted, but then when it gets too too much, then it gets pushed back down. So it's like a multi-band DQ. And I've heard that the Pro Q3 does the same sort of thing as well. So I'll be looking into getting that soon as well. So I can start using that one rather than the Pro Q2. Then I can just miss out this whole plugin. We've got all different cuts going on. They wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot. You know I'm there, they think they know me. I feel like it cleans up the vocal, makes it sound a lot more clearer. So we cut out a lot of 200, and what's this one here? We cut out 711 hertz as well. So we boosted that by 2000 hertz as well. They wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. They think they know me, but they have no idea. I'm moving in a higher gear. You look good girl, grab your bag, we out of here. So it's the one with the triangles. They're the ones that are, are being dynamically EQ'd. Then we've got the compressor. They wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed. Any so the first band's doing nothing. Second band's doing nothing. The third band, that's acting more like a, a DSR for the top end. And I've got it at like 6,000 kilohertz. They wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot. You know I'm there, they think they know me, but they have no idea. Mm, going back to it, it sounds like it could have been compressed a bit more, but we've only got like a 3.1 3 ratios on that. Moving on, 
got the UAD 1176. They want to be salty with me because I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me because I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. They think they know me, but they have no idea. I'm moving in a higher gear. You look good, girl, grab your bag, we out of here. It's boosting the, the level slightly, but it's also giving it a bit of character, I feel. And not much compression on that either. So normally I like to use these two in serial. So I've got the 1176 and then the LA-2A. They want to be salty with me because I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me because I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. They think they know me, but they have no idea. I'm moving in a higher gear. You look just using that just to level off some of the vocals, some of the peaks and that. Just doing about 2, 3 dB. Minus 2, minus 3 dB gain reduction and that. Then we're moving on to the R compressor. I like the R compressor. I normally leave it at the default settings for the attack and the release. They want to be salty with me because I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me because I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. They think they know me, but... Yeah, so that's just to like tighten it up again. I've got So I've got three compressors in serial. So each of them are just doing little bits rather than having one compressor doing 6 dBs of gain reduction. Instead of giving one compressor all that work to do, I can just do it over three. So the last EQ now is the Pro Q and that's doing some more cutting. They want to be salty with me because I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me because I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. They think they know me, but they have... Listening back to that, I feel like it's probably cutting too much. I've got a whole heap of stuff going on down the bottom at 100 hertz. Probably at the time I felt like it was a bit too boomy still. Like I said, he's got a deep voice and I feel like for it to sound good in the mix, he needs to take away some of them, some of that low end. And these different notches here, again, just frequencies that were getting on my nerves and I just wanted to get rid of them. So let's just listen to that at the moment with these plugins with the beat. All right, so it's sounding, sounding cleaner, sounding a bit more crispy, but the only thing is it's sounding a bit quiet. So first send I've got here is a mix send. Every single track that's been used is going to this mix send, which is on bus 19. And that's just a CLA 76 with a Pro Q2. Um, we just cut the bottom a little notch at 4K, 4.6K. That just gets boosted slightly and going to the main output. So moving on, we've got Aphex Vintage. That's just to give it a bit more high end sheen on the vocal. They wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. You know I'm there. And that actually gives it some body as well. It makes it a little bit louder. They wanna be salty. So for the, the Aphex, what we got here. I've DS that, that bus as well. And yeah, just boosted. I've probably, yeah. Just use a preset and just tweak the preset. Tweak the preset to how I want it to sound. The next bus we've got is Parallel. I've called this one a Parallel. So I'll just boost it so you can hear what I'm doing. And that adds a bit more volume, a bit more grit on his vocal. And then we're moving on to Reverb. So this is like my space reverb, so just to give him a bit of space, push his vocals a bit more forward. Works nicely. Then we've got the other reverb, which is my nair verb, I call this. And this has probably got a longer reverb time to the Oxford. I can't remember if I timed these reverbs. But I probably just went off how it felt. This is how it sounds with the reverb. They wanna be salty with me because I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me because I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the sp So that's to give it a bit of height to the space that I'm creating. Then we've got a decapitator, so we're probably just using that for a bit more grit. They wanna be salty with me because I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me because the wanna be salty with me because I'm too fresh. They try to find fault with me because I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. You know I'm there. That has a bit more a bit more grit to that that vocal i feel and it pushes it a bit more forward so you can hear what he's saying if you remember without all these sends on it was really quiet i'll just show you again so now that's just nice and forward and and you can hear every word that, every word that he's saying so yeah happy with that the last one is another 
reverb. So I've called this one verse verb, probably because I like to have the, the vocals having its own reverb. And I'll boost it and then pull it back so you can hear what it's doing. Don't wanna be salty with me cause I'm too fresh. You try to find fault with me cause I'm too blessed. Anytime I'm in the spot, you know I'm there. So what I always like to do with my reverbs is have it just tucked behind. Push it forward and then pull it back so you can't really hear it. When you turn it off, you feel that it's missing. Yeah, for that one, it's the PSP 2445. And that's uh, 1.2 seconds and it's a different pre-delay, different timing to the other reverbs. And I've EQ'd this as well. I like to have an EQ so it fits in the mix nicely. And then a bit of saturation on that so it can be heard and we DS in that as well. This is that reverb without any of the plugins on it. So this makes it a lot darker rather than it overpowering the main vocal that just sits nicely behind. That vocal is running through to a bus and on that bus I normally like to use a, a multiband compressor just to take some of the low end and just keep it under control. So that's actually not doing anything at all. So it goes sometimes. You kind of forget. Uh, I've got a DSR in there. Was I using the DSR? Yep, this is on there. Wideband from Waves RDSR, and that's just taking taking control of some of them S's because you can hear. I'm sure you can hear the sibilance going on. That main Vox bus now is going to a normal Vox bus. So that all that is is that the ad libs, the stabs, everything will be going to their own bus, and then all of them combined go to an all Vox bus, which is the last bus before the pre-fader. All I've got in there is a Kramer tape, just to add a bit of saturation. I've used a, uh, a preset acoustic guitar warm. You just tweak that up a bit. Then the Pro Q 2 again, it's just cutting out some frequencies that I probably felt was annoying at the time. Then I've got the Tube Tech compressor. Slow attack, medium release to give it that little that bit of smoothness rather than it being too jumpy. And I also like to use the SPO transient designer so that the the vocals are a bit more bit more in your face. Put the sustain down the touch and then push the attack about 3 dB. Last in that chain is the PSP E27. This is a nice sounding EQ, nice on vocals. What I like about it is the two different sections. Um, we've got two sections the same and you can use that as mid side on this one i boosted 10k and the 17k just to give that a bit of air and anything that's on the side i've done the opposite so you can see it here the 10k so that that 10k will boost up the the main vocal and the 10k being subtracted on the sides on the stabs the ad libs will give the uh, main vocal time to shine I like what that PSP has done because it feels like it's just made it a bit more upfront, a bit more clear. It's boosted it a little bit. Obviously, it's boosted the level, but it's only just under 2 dB, so it's nothing crazy. And it just gives it that little bit of shine on the vocal, I feel. Boosted about 1K, boosted 1K, just under 2 dB, and the same 200 hertz for the main vocal boosted as well. So just to give it a bit more body. I hope there's something in there you can take from. Don't forget like every vocal is different so make sure you're using your ears. Just mix the taste because it's your flavor at the end of the day. It's how you want it to sound. Have a reference or some some of your favorite songs so you can A, B them and think to yourself, yo, I like that. I like how that one sound and I like this one. So yeah, hope you like this video. Hope it's helped you. If it has, hit that like, hit the subscribe button. Hit me up on Instagram if you've got any questions or drop a, a comment below. I appreciate your time. Appreciate you watching.